What up, what up, what up? This Mike the Philosopher here with another one. This one is Kendra G, okay? She got a guy to interview, okay? I'm not going to hold you. Let's go in. Hello? Hey. hey, how are you? Good. What? Are those tattoos on your face? Yes, ma'am. How many tattoos do you have? Well, I have most of my body done. Um, I started tapping my face by the time I was like 25. Are you a tattoo artist? Like I said before, I don't necessarily care for tats on women. On guys, I'm indifferent because I ain't looking at dudes. I'm wondering how it looks for women though put it in the comments do y'all like guys with tats seem like most women like men with tattoos um even uh super clean women who don't have no tattoos they seem to like guys with tattoos it gives off a little bit of bad boy energy rebellious uh, you know walk to the beat of their own drum thug life whatever uh, women seem to like the bad boy types um, so he got a market out there for him but I'd be interested to know ladies are y'all do y'all like guys with tats and face tats and uh, you know uh, nose rings and 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 lip rings and all that other stuff the dreads put it in the comments do y'all like that stuff let's go back in artists Yes, I am. Um, I gonna, I'm an all-around artist. All-around? painting and everything else. But so you have to be an artist with a tattooed face. Yeah, most most people with face tattoos, but I do know uh, other, like, barbers and things like that that have face tattoos. Probably just not as many as me. All right, talk, talk a little louder for me, love. What's your name? I go by Rob. That's my real name. And my artist name is Baca. What do you want me to call you? You can call me Baga. Baga? Ba Baga. Bado? <laughs> no. Can I call Baca. you Rob? Yeah, Baga. Can I call you Rob? Yeah, that's fine. Rob. Rob, where are you calling yeah. me from, love? Philadelphia. Philly, how old are you? I'm 35 tomorrow. Happy Thursday birthday! Tomorrow. On the way, Thank so you. you're a Virgo. Yes, yes. What do you do for a living, Rob? Well, like you said, I'm a tattoo artist. I'm a painter. I sell my paintings and tattoo. Um, hopefully, I'll get into the music career. I'm um, still still working on that, but what do you? I also do. Do, do you rap or do you sing? Yeah, I do, do a little bit of both. Um, a little bit okay, both. give us twenty seconds. Let's see your talent. Twenty seconds. Dang. I mean, I, I could maybe give you a rat. Okay. 20 seconds. All right. Let me see. I said, hold on. I said, I got to think of something. I said, time wait for no man. But some days it take time. Walk out the house. Got to gotta grip up a load of palm. Pop a little search. And just try to stay calm. Because in Philly, that give you a headshot like it's FaceTime. It's mad like a fire stick. I put you on that TV. The family see the news, man. They got to put you six feet. Act a little too tough, little homie. Just don't try me. Whole city will be looking for your body. That's it. I ain't giving you no know okay. us. Yeah, I ain't come over here to rap. You know what I mean? I ain't even know you was going to put me on. Like, I was just like, yo, and me. Well, he puts the request to be here. Okay, we got you, sir. So, Rob, you have any kids, baby? Yeah, I'm a fourth. Tom, dad, my daughter, my daughter is going on twelve. The end of September. Okay, have you ever been married? Never been married. Nope. Okay. So we got Rob Philly, thirty-five Virgo, tattoo artist, also a painter. Aspirations in a music career. Has a twelve-year-old daughter. What kind of woman are you looking for? Um, I mostly look for the opposite. You know, people would think I would look for a girl with a lot of tattoos, but I'm more into like dark. Uh, brown skinned women uh, don't matter if it's natural hair or not um, anybody that's open minded that's not going to judge me for my creativity um, but any woman that can understand that I am a step up father also um, hopefully I'm looking to find somebody that 
I can maybe don't have kids. I don't mind a woman with kids, but hopefully somebody, regardless that I deal with, where we're going to be about our children. Definitely wanted to uh, uh, build a, a family, you know. So you want a woman with no kids already? Um, like most most people have children, so I've dated women with children. I prefer women without children. So that way I can, you know, actually. Well, you you, you prefer a lot of opposites of you. You prefer women without tattoos. Yeah, now, I mean, you- not saying she can't have tattoos, but what I'm saying is, my image probably will make people think that I will deal with women with as much tattoos is what I'm saying. Well, I would think so because the opposite, I mean, listen, there's one thing to have tattoos, but your whole face is tatted. So let me ask y'all this question. Um, Do you think it's hypocritical for him to want the opposite of him? Um, do you think that it's hypocritical for him to not to 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 want a woman without so many tattoos especially face tattoos do you think it's hypocritical for him to not want a woman who has a child like he has he prefers a woman without a child because i'm gonna tell you something i've seen women do this too they have a thousand kids but their requirement is they meet a man who ain't got no kids. And <clears throat> I give them crap for that. I'm going to give him some crap for that too. If you got a child, bruh, you should at least be open to women with one child. Now, if they got more than that, then I can understand the preference. But Why is it that she don't, she can't have a kid, but you can? Why is it that she can't have tats, but you can? Look, I get it. Some people' preference is just what it is, but it's often like I put it this way: people who have open contradictions or who have uh, double standards. I start to think that they are flawed in their logic. You can't go to church and be a reverend and talk about all the sins of man and then go out into the world and do all of that debauchery and then come back to church and preach about how wrong it is. People who have double standards or who have uh you know these contradictions they worry me personally i start to think of there's some kind of mental illness or something attached to it because i'm not sure if i could ever trust that person they can they can say all of the right things or this is wrong that's wrong how dare you do this or you know you did this but then if they turn around and do it or you can't do this you can't do that and they turn around and do it i'm thinking "Mm, you know something is going on unless you give me a good explanation i'm starting to think that there might be some mental illness involved or you're just not that trustworthy of a person because if you can't take your own advice do you expect me to take it do you expect me to take your advice you know what i mean so um let's go back in i would think a woman because that could be a deal breaker for kind of the women that you're describing right like no tattoos and no children like you can't yeah, I mean, like I said, that brown skin. Not. Say again. Yeah, brown skin. Any anybody over twenty five is cool. Got to be okay. twenty five up. Yeah. So, what are your deal breakers? About me or a woman? What you don't want? Yes. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't want a woman that got a lot of baggage. Like, you know, if you got something going for yourself and, you know, you're not bringing in baggage into a, a, a relationship, that's what matters the most because that way you can have an open mind because a lot of people are coming in relationships hurt. You know what I'm saying? So just have an open mind. Well, and this is why I'm a little worried about this because he said... I want women that's 25 and up. And then he followed that up with can't have a lot of baggage. Well, the older you get, bruh, <laughs> the more these women are going to have baggage. Okay, so if you truly don't want a woman with too much baggage, um, you might want somebody younger than 25. I'm not, I'm not saying it's impossible, but but women who hit 25 they they probably have a little baggage on them by that time a little bit of heartbreak a little bit of disappointment maybe a little bit of cheating on a little bit of whatever the case may be they may have some baggage by the time they hit 25 if they ain't got baggage by 25 they probably are going to be a nun at that point or they probably you know i don't i don't know they just that that that's rare let's just put it that way that's rare that they don't have it by at least 25. so you know there you go let's hear some more and then don't have an open mind yeah like have, have an open mindset and be ready to be in a relationship you know to build to build one be ready to build a relationship. Okay. Um, should she look a certain way? I mean, I do. I do prefer a woman, of course, slim, thick, um, BBW. As long as she in shape, she ain't gotta be the most most in shape. But you, you know what I'm saying. Like, I do like a thicker woman. If if you get what I mean. Okay. Should she make a certain amount of money? Um. Not necessarily. I feel like as long as the woman got her head head on right and she's like, you know, got something on for herself, not no regular little Instagram girl or nothing like that. Like, I need somebody that actually know what they, you know, getting themselves into. Like, you know, I prefer somebody like a, a nurse or, you know, somebody that's in a field doing something with themselves. Because at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a provider. But I don't want a woman to just only depend on me thinking that I'm going to just babysit. Okay. All right. Let's do the Kim for Cam. Say it again. Oh, this is when you stand up and we see your full body. Oh, stand up. Well, dang. Put me on this. This is that. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see me? A little you gotta bit. see your legs. All right, let me see. All right. Not sure we can get me. Which one? You can see me a lot better? Okay, now we can see you. Yeah, we can see your legs. Yeah, I mean, I'm... All right, we got you, though. We got, we got you. We got Daddy you. Daddy Gun. You, Rob. Okay. Okay, we good to go. We got you. All right, Rob. Really, do you want the woman to be in Philly? No, I mean, don't matter, really. I mean, she don't got necessarily be in Philly because you can't really find somebody just trying to think you're going to find somebody in your, in your state. Okay. You know, um, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, I guess say close to close to a month, month about a, about a month. But you know, it was just basically somebody that I kind of knew for a while. Uh, we already know that we wasn't in a relationship. There was like a little here and there type situation. Okay, when was your last relationship? 
My last relationship was about five months ago. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Me, myself, um, just, just working on me. Um, one thing I feel like I got to stop doing, um, I'm not going to say stop being too kind, but just be more of staying focused on what I need done. Because sometimes I stop things that I do or been doing be just to help somebody else. That was my fault. Say it again. Like some, sometimes I kind of like stop being Okay, everyone is telling me to go to your page. Let me see. What am I going to see in your page that they want me to see so badly? I don't know. I mean, I got music and stuff like that on my page. Usually, um, let's see. I know my... Okay. I know I know one of my recent posts that been getting a, a little bit of views. I was at a What's pool this? party. Yeah, I was at a pool, pool party asking these girls for a dance and they played me. <laughs> and people okay. think it's a skit. But it's really not a skit. Oh, so the women are dancing with they're showing their asses? Yeah, they just it's a pool party. So, you know, I'm just I, I bopped out, I popped out. It's like a um it's like an event to come out network. I don't know if you know uh uh guy named Ines. Ines is from Philly. It was his pool party. If you go to the oh, picture is face clear. Yeah, that's me. Okay. And, uh, Ines, do y'all know who Ines is? Uh, he was, I don't know if y'all remember, Puffy had a TV show um, making a band, I think it was something like that. Uh, Ines was one of the guys from the group. He he went to go get Puff some sugar cookies. <laughs> was it sugar cookies? It was something. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of Dave Chappelle. Uh, uh he, but Ines was one of the dudes who had to go get Puff like a cherry cheesecake or some shit like um, but he was on making the band he he pretty nice with the whole rap too he was he was one of the nice he was the nicest one in the group in my opinion um, but it looked like he know Ines and he was trying to go to his pool party and hang out with some thick chicks I ain't mad at him let's go in uh, I guess they want me to see that i think that's the part they wanted me to see yeah i don't know but uh the guy enos is one of my recent pictures you can see me a picture with enos i, I was at his pool party okay okay but well, okay all right um so why would woman be lucky to be with you i apologize well one thing i am i'm just a full-time dad and you know so hopefully i find somebody that's one willing to be in a relationship and be in a committed relationship. Um, I feel like my attitude and who I am kind of don't really match my image. Yeah, so that's my daughter. She's she's 12. Okay. Yeah, your attitude, yeah I will say this. You're going to be judged by your image. Just well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be judged by my image. And, that, and that's perfectly fine because at the end of the day, I am very unique and I'm, I'm a different type of person. So I, I do tr truly believe that you should get what you want, do what you want, as long as you're not out here hurting nobody or, you know, being like stupid. You know, I also don't have no criminal background. I'm not in and out of pr prison. You know, I sacrificed so much to take care of my daughter. I, I cut off a, a lot of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So anybody I, I deal with in my life, you know, I'm willing to, to find somebody with an open mindset, like I said, that don't got baggage and i don't need no baggage i don't want no toxic relationship none of that because i'm not the type of person to be you know into all that arguing and none of that so you know i'm a lovable person and the only thing i'm uh, willing to do is build a relationship and protect my family that's it okay and um you're 35 what's the age range you want to date i'm um, from 25 up 25 up. I could definitely say 25 up. I can't really give you a, a I mean, I can give you a stop number. I could say maybe like stop number should be about 40, 45 or something like that, about 45. You know, I don't, okay. need, to, I don't, so, I don't need to go no higher than that. Alright, Rob, are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? No, I'm not. Right. You gotta download the dating app. You already have a nickname. 
So um, your name is Baca Skills, Boca yep. Skills. Yep. So on the app, you can use your name and you can also use a username. So on the username, mm -hmm. so it's easy to find you, put Boca Skills, B-O-C-A-S-K-I-L-L-Z. Okay. Yeah, so ladies who watching this, what do y'all think? Is this the guy for you? Um, he got, he a single dad. Okay. He got a lot of tats. He got nose rings. He's, he's a rapper. Um, he go to pool parties with thick chicks. <laughs> okay. He, he rock out with Elliot Ness. He Ness in them. So, um, but he's a tattoo artist and he wants you to be a blank canvas. He wants you to be, not, not have so many tats. He wants you to not have any kids. Is this, is this your guy? Um, put it in the comments, ladies, what y'all think about him. Put a rank in there for him too, as far as looks, personality, and and things like that put put a rank in, in there for him because I have no idea what what women like so yeah put that put that in the comments I really would appreciate it and like to know hit the like share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one peace